So for about three years prior to the uh, heart attack, I, um, I, I wasn't going to the doctor. Uh, I just, you know, I let life get in the way and I let that be an excuse. It's hard to get somebody who's feeling good and doing well to the doctor. And uh, that has always been a, a problem. You know, just in general, medicine was always developed to help the sick. So we treat the sick. And although I knew that, the, that there was family history of, of um, um, heart disease, I just wasn't, for whatever reason, going to the doctor. The risk factors of family history, what their lifestyles are like, of course, cholesterol levels, blood pressure levels, things like that. And a lot of these risk factors are not symptomatic. People can have high cholesterols, high blood pressures, and not know it, and that eventually becomes a role. I was taking my health a lot more seriously. I'd lost a lot of weight. I'd quit smoking. I was working out, you know, probably four or five times a week. Um, and then, you know, that was great for a while and, and worked, and then life started to creep in again. Men are at much greater risk, especially younger men. And I think the risk by our statistics and what we've been doing over the last several decades indicates that the men in their early 40s start to become risk. And then that day, that, the day that the heart attack happened, I was um, playing hockey. Uh, I had been to my son's coaching my son's hockey game earlier and we'd driven from one rink to another rink and I played hockey and he was he was in the stands. Um, I remember the first couple shifts, then I don't really remember anything. I guess I played for another 30 minutes and, and uh, collapsed on the ice. Kirk was very lucky. His son and others dialed 911 immediately. They started CPR and used the automatic defibrillator, the AED, that was located within the rink. But the next thing I remember is waking up uh, uh, in a hospital bed. Um, you know, the only thing I could see really was right in front of me. There was a, a whiteboard that said West Suburban Medical Center. Uh, it said my nurse's name. And it said uh, the date, which was two days later than I remembered it being. When Kirk arrived, we knew he was having a cardiac event, but we weren't sure what caused it. What we did know was we had to act quickly. We instituted a procedure called therapeutic hypothermia. Therapeutic hypothermia is a cooling procedure that brings the body's core temperature down. When we bring the body's core temperature down, it requires less oxygen for the body. It lets the body work just a little less in order to recover from the cardiac event. So in this specific instance, of course, this was a heart attack and you know, they went to the emergency room and from there to the cath lab and of course the outcomes are pretty good. West Suburban Medical Center is an accredited chest pain center and primary stroke center. That means we're held to the highest standards in the country for our care in chest pain and stroke symptoms. I was there from Sunday night until Friday, uh, so I met a number of nurses. They were all great. Um, the staff was wonderful. Our cardiology group, there's 10 cardiologists and multiple other providers that, you know, that all subspecialize in certain types of cardiology. So at West Suburban, we have all these services. Um, focusing specifically on this patient's preventive care is paramount. After getting released from there, I spent a couple weeks, you know, with doctors and tests, just making sure that it wasn't something other than just the hereditary coronary artery disease. Uh, once that was, you know, cleared up, I was cleared to go to cardiac rehab, um, where I got to meet another great set of nurses and staff and dietitians and found it to be a good support place. You know, you meet other patients like yourself and uh, um, it helps you kind of get into a new um, routine of exercise and eating right and um, taking care of yourself. And so it's a great way to transition into, you know, a life where I'm going to the gym three, four times a week. I still skate. I do all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's great. The problem is that we still have hundreds of thousands of younger patients that die suddenly. So this was a lucky patient that actually made it to the hospital, was, able, it was helped, 
and will probably do very well once they're diagnosed. They tend to do very well with the techniques and the medications that we have to help them with.